In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to create an Ableton dry wet device, personalized dry wet device. Let's get to it. Okay, so why you want to have a dry wet device? Because certain third party plugins don't have this dry wet device. For example, this plugin called Driver from Native Instrument, which I use a lot, doesn't have a dry wet device. So you have either this one or you don't have the dry, the dry signal. And if you want to find a sweet spot, it can be very difficult. So I've got this dry wet device here, which I made already. And it's going to be available in the link in the description to download for free. So now it's dry and then all wet. So I can find the sweet spot. And that's for me, 14 is the sweet spot. Okay, so, so to create this audio effect, it's very simple. Open an audio effect rack. Then you go to plugins, take the plugin that you want, you put it on the preset that you like, and then you open the channel here, and you're gonna have to duplicate this one so that you have two instances. So one is gonna be dry, and the second one is gonna be wet. Obviously, you have to delete the plugin from the dry one and leave it on the wet one. Then you open the chain selector here, and you need to drag this blue bar until the end, right? Then you need to make that from zero to 127, you have the full wet knob. So it's gonna be like this. And from 127 to zero, you're gonna have the opposite on the wet signal, which means that now if you play the kick drum, it's fully dry. And as I'm hovering, it's going fully wet. Now you want to map this uh, chain selector to the macro one, and it's gonna be here. Then you want to remove the other macros because you only need one, and you can rename it dry slash wet. And now, now is the full kick drum, full wet. So now I can find my sweet spot, which is about here. That's how easy as it gets. And so if you want to get this device, you can just go to the uh, link in the description and you can get it for free. Thank you and see you on the next one.